and uh, uh, you do defend people if, and you defend them harder the more you know about it. Uh, but this is hard because there's some uh, uh, things going on that uh, uh, some of it is really hard to understand. You know, again, I'm trying to figure out who's, who's getting what from where and because of that I don't know. Uh, but uh, no, I, I've got some great friends in the coaching profession and there's some great friends that I would trust uh, with my son, with my daughter, even with my grandsons. Yeah. Have, you, have you talked to Rick? No. I did. Uh, we were on the same place recruiting uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I have not talked to him since this came out. That's right. Coach, is a lighthearted question. This summer, <laughs> this summer seemed to be your, your glow up. You know, you had a new bus cut that you know was all over the internet. You were pictured, you know, just relaxing. You had a couple of players get married. <coughs> you just had a really great summer. It seemed like, despite looming of the NCAA, how was your summer? How are you doing? And how are you getting ready for this, this season? <laughs> well, the bus cut that was so cool that showed everywhere, which I didn't know about. I've done for. The last six years uh, since uh, Aiden was born, I do it every summer, usually on July 4th. Scott cuts my hair and cuts a little boy's hair. The tough thing is last year they tried to get me to get a mohawk. Because <laughs> they got a mohawk. And, uh, it's hard to say no to your grandsons. Right. You know, I, I bribed them, gave them money, took them to get dessert, do anything. Still, they wanted a buzz cut, but I had to say no on that. I mean, uh, a mohawk. It was not a good summer. My golf game. It's the worst in history. First time in my life I handicapped ever gone into double figures. Uh, so I had to enjoy being out there, enjoying my friends, enjoying my buddies. Some of my buddies I didn't enjoy nearly as much as I used to when I used to beat their ass all the time. <laughs> but uh, uh, So that part wasn't as good. I didn't strike that beat their tail all the time. <laughs> uh, but no, it was a good summer and then uh, about 16 days ago, I guess now, our third grandson was born. And, uh, on his 13th day he was alive, he came to late night, so we got him started the right way. But uh, family was really good this summer. We had some really good times. Time for two more short ones, please. Roy, initial impressions on uh, Julie Felton and what he can bring this year? He's really gifted. Really gifted. Maybe the most gifted player on our team. Uh, doesn't understand hard work, doesn't understand focus, doesn't understand defense. You know, he thinks that's that fence that we talked about before around your yard. Uh, but uh, really gifted, and uh, if I can get him to be more focused and tougher, and uh, uh, I think he's got a chance to be really a good player and really help us. And uh, he's got some skills that uh, a lot of other people don't have. Anybody else? One more? Luke said Friday that one of the guys he's really been impressed with has been Brandon Robinson. Just kind of what sort of strides do you see from him over the offseason? You know, we, we've had, I can, I can go down, seventh is better, uh, Joel's better, uh, Brandon Robinson is better, uh, Theo is better, Kenny's better. Uh, er, I think every, every returning player we have has really made some significant strides in their game. Uh, Brandon's shooting the ball well. Uh, right now he's sort of the leader of that uh, blue team right now, uh, but he's going to play. and. Uh, I think with the blue team, he's pressing a little bit in practice, trying to do so much because it's always competition, which I like because he doesn't like to lose, you know. And so I think he's doing more there than he'll have to do when he goes over to the other team. But he's uh, he's doing some good things. Can't get any weight, you know, but he's he's doing some good things. With the bigs going back to trying to figure out how you're going to have the one you want as a clear starter. Back-to-back -back seasons, Kennedy and Bryce took some really big strides mm -hmm. in their senior seasons. Mm -hmm. Bryce, a lot of that for you, I know, was dealing with his attitude. Are, are, is there anything for me? Not his attitude, just work ethic. He's a great kid. Yes, sir. No, sir. You need to go away and probably cuss me. But <laughs> yes, sir, no, sir. <laughs> what I'm getting at, is there anything from those two seasons back-to-back -back that you feel like you can apply to that position this season with these young guys and, and figure something out there? Well, the, the difference is it was Kennedy's senior year and it was Bryce's senior year. And I've always thought your biggest jump was made from your freshman to your sophomore year, and then by the time you're a senior, you've really got it all figured out. And uh, uh, so that doesn't fit any one of these guys. But somebody's got somebody's got to come through, and, and I I have no idea who it's going to be, but somebody has to. Thank you very much. Right, thanks we, everybody. We have a lot of questions about the basketball season, basketball team. Shots. I appreciate it. Take some quick group shots.